The use of antibiotics when they are not the right medicine for your child will not help. It may even do more harm than good. This is because antibiotics are medicines which are used to treat bacterial infections and not viral infections. So if your child has a viral infection, antibiotics will not help. Your doctor will examine your child and help you figure out the best medicine for your child. Does your child have a cold and you think he or she needs antibiotics? You notice green mucus coming out and you think your child has a sinus infection and needs antibiotics already? Do all children with sore throat need antibiotics? In this video, we will talk about antibiotic use in children. Hi, I am Dr. Christine Albaquiat. I'm a board-certified pediatrician. And my mission is to help moms and dads deal with child health problems to raise happy and healthy kids. Yay! Antibiotic use in children. Do you need antibiotics for a cold? Many children usually have six to eight colds in a year, especially those who are in childcare. Cold symptoms in a child may include runny nose, congestion, and cough. Now, colds are due to viruses, and you do not need antibiotics for a common cold. Antibiotics are given for bacterial infections. Can some colds turn into a bacterial infection? In most cases, bacterial infections do not follow viral infections. And giving antibiotics to treat a viral infection can lead to an infection due to a resistant bacteria. And your child may develop side effects such as diarrhea. Is yellow or green mucus a sign of bacterial infection? Well, green or yellow mucus in the nose does not automatically mean that your child needs antibiotics. It is usual for a common cold that the mucus may get thicker and change in color from clear to yellow to greenish. And take note that common colds usually last for 10 days. Now, sinusitis is the inflammation of the lining of the nose and sinuses. It can be due to allergy or viral infections. In some cases, it can also be due to a bacterial infection known as bacterial sinusitis. Now, your child may have bacterial sinusitis when your child has a cold that lasts for more than 10 days and the mucus has become yellowish to greenish. And also, if your child has a fever with yellowish or greenish mucus for three or four days. If your child develops these signs and symptoms, then bring your child to the doctor because in the case of bacterial sinusitis, your child may need antibiotics. The doctor will examine your child to make sure that antibiotics is the right medicine for him or her. Does your child need antibiotics for an ear infection? Well, most ear infections are due to viruses and your child would not need antibiotics for that. Once your doctor suspects that your child's ear infection is due to a virus, your doctor will help you and teach you the best way to relieve your child's ear pain. Your doctor might suggest um, over-the-counter pain medication such as acetaminophen or paracetamol or ibuprofen to help relieve your child's ear pain, uh, which will usually improve in one to two days. This is until the virus runs its course. Now, giving over-the-counter decongestants would not help clear up ear infections and are not recommended for young children. Now, your child may need antibiotics for an ear infection when your child has a fever that is increasing or for more severe ear pain. Does your child need antibiotics for a sore throat? Well, majority of sore throats are due to viruses. Once your child has a sore throat with runny nose and barky cough, it is usually due to a virus and would not need antibiotics. Now, 
your child may need antibiotics for a strep throat, which is a bacterial infection due to a group A streptococcal uh, bacteria. Now, once your doctor suspects that your child has a strep throat based on your child's symptoms, your doctor will then perform a strep test and once your child is positive, your child will be given antibiotics. Take note that in babies and toddlers less than 3 years of age, they rarely get strep throat. Do antibiotics have side effects? Yes, antibiotics have side effects. 1 in 10 children who takes an antibiotic can develop side effects. And um, side effects can include rashes, nausea, diarrhea, and stomach pain. Let your doctor know if your child has developed a reaction to antibiotics in the past. How long before an antibiotic begins to work? Well, usually um, symptoms improve in two to three days after starting an antibiotic. Let your doctor know if your child is getting worse within three days of starting an antibiotic. Now, stopping an antibiotic too soon um, may not completely clear up the infection and symptoms can start again. Can antibiotics lead to resistant bacteria? Yes. Repeated use and misuse of antibiotics can lead to resistant bacteria. Resistant bacteria are those that are no longer killed by the commonly used antibiotics to treat bacterial infections. These resistant bacteria can spread to other adults and other children. Therefore, it is important that your child uses an antibiotic that is specific to that infection. Now, how to use antibiotics safely? Number one, use the antibiotics exactly as directed. How many ml? Is it once a day, twice a day, three times a day? For how many days? Number two, do not use the same antibiotics for a sibling or a friend. Number three, keep the antibiotics in a safe and secure place. And number four, dispose of leftover antibiotics. Hey, if you like this video, watch my other videos where I teach you about other child health problems.